What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we're answering the question of how to copy a file in Terminal. So let's hop right in and start coding. To copy a file in a terminal, it's actually really simple. You just need, need to use one command called the cp command. Now if we look this up by typing man cp, we can see that this is the copy files command. And essentially you can pass all of these different parameters, give it the source file and a target or the source file and a path to the target directory and you can copy you know, your files, whether it's you know copying it into another directory, copying into the same directory, giving it a different name. So let's hop right in and show you what you can use the CP command for. So I am in my OS systems directory in my YouTube tutorials, Python basics folder. And I essentially want to show you like, here's the, so here's previous videos I've done. Well, let's go ahead and copy this hello.txt file and show you what we can do. Now, if I go ahead to copy this, I'm just going to, let's reset so that we have some room and some a little zoomed in. So we can go to CP and I can just say hello.txt. Now I just hit tab complete right there. Now that's the source file. So you go the CP command, the source, the source, the file that you want to copy and then the destination or you know whether it's a new directory with the same name or whether it is the same directory with a different name. And now let's show you what happens if you do it with the same name. So if I say hello.txt and I hit run, you'll see that this does not work and you get this error that says hello.txt and hello.txt are identical and it's not copied because it's not going to copy and I can even check that by doing the ls and I see hello.txt. When you're in the same directory you need to essentially uh, now there's probably ways that you can essentially overwrite this but it, which wouldn't really do anything because you're just copying um, but what I can do is I can say something like cp hello.txt hello.txt let's backspace a little bit dot t two.txt and if we enter you'll see now so if I ls you'll see now that I have hello.txt and hello2.txt so right there there's a simple way and how you can use the one how you can avoid um, copying uh, the same file name and what happens if you do and two how to actually use the copy command by using the cp the source file and then its destination so that's how if you want to copy a file into its current directory let's show you how you can copy a file to from a different directory to this current directory or from a from the, the current directory to a new directory all right so let's first start off by taking the hello to hello to.txt file and let's show you how you can copy this file from it, this current directory to another directory and then we'll go vice versa we'll take it from another directory and copy it to the current directory that we're in so what i can do is i can just type in and let's reset this reset and then if I just do ls dot dot slash, this will show us what's the, like the next folder up um, or the next folder that's outside of this OS system. Cause you can see that this in its file path shows you like when I do this, like there's the folder that we are in and this is the folder above it. So let's go and basically copy, um, let's do this. Let's yeah, let's copy the, the hello.2.txt file and let's copy it to this folder. What would we do? So what we can do is we can do cp hello2.txt um, and then I can say dot dot slash. Now, there's a cool a couple of cool things. If I hit enter with just that, you'll notice that if I hit ls dot dot and show you the directory up above, you'll see that hello2.txt is there. And what's nice about this, I didn't have to, you know, specify the name. And it just basically took this name and copied it right there. Now, um, if I were to go and reset, I could also do something like cp hello2. Um, and actually let's do this. So cd dot dot, move out of the directory and we will remove that file hello2.txt. So now it's out of there. Um, Cause I, what I want to do is I want to show you that I can go back to this folder and I can say cp hello2.txt and I can do dot dot slash hello hello2.txt. Hit the same command and I can hit ls and oops, I'm in that, I'm in the same folder. So ls dot dot slash, you'll see that there it is again. So what we did in that sequence was essentially we had a hello2 in there. I went up a directory and I removed it. The reason being is because I wanted to show you that if I did hello2.txt and then dot dot slash and then the name, unlike just dot dot slash, it would also put that. Now, if I did that command when I was in there before, we run into that same error where it says, hey, there's the two files, you can't copy them in there. But the nice thing is, is you can either give it the full path or you can just give it the directory that you want it to copy into and it'll take this name and put it there. Now, let's try something different. I wanna show you and if we do CP and we'll reset all this so we can have more room. So we'll do CP and I can say hello2.txt dot dot slash hello3.txt. Let's see what this does. If I hit LS, oops, that's the old directory. Let's reset so you have more room and I can say LS dot dot slash. So let's show the directory contents up one directory above and you'll see that there is a hello3.txt. That's the nice thing about copying from the source file to the destination is if you basically run, let's back up and show you all the commands that we've ran. 
So I hit the up arrow, you see if we run this command, what it'll do is it'll take this hello to world and just place when it does the copy and you just provide the directory that you're going to put it in, it'll take this name and assign that as the name of the file that it, when it creates that file in this directory. Now, if I go and use this command, this shows you, hey, I want to copy hello2.txt and this is the path of where I want to put it. And I, you can see that I'm using the same name because I want it to be the same. But the caveat here is what I just ran is I can also rename the new copied file. So if I want to copy this, but I want it to be hello3, I can say give it to the path of the destination and the name, whether it's the same um, as this one over here, or if I want to give it a brand new name when I copy it. So that way, if I am copying to the same directory, I don't run into naming errors like we did um, in that previous example. And you can see just like that, we have copied and given it a new name. So now when I do that ls on that folder, you'll see that I have a copy of hello2 and I have the original one that we took from the OS system. We put it up in the directory above it. So now we have this one and then we also copied it again, but then gave it a different name and it's right there as well. So that's how you copy from a current directory, which we're in the OS system, which is essentially this guy. And then how you copy from that to a different directory, which in our case, we just went up one directory and copied our current file up into the, the you know, where it's the folder that it's within. So now let's show you how I can copy, say hello three from this folder into our current OS system file. So let's get right into that. All right, so let's start off by resetting our terminal so we have more room to work with. I've zoomed in so that way we can see stuff, but when you zoom in, you kind of lose room, right, for stuff. So just to show you, we're in this LS, we're in this folder, right? And if I LS the folder above, we have this hello three. The goal, like I mentioned, is let's copy this folder into this OS system folder, which does not have hello three. So to do that, I'm gonna reset this again. And then what we can do is say CP, and I can say, give it the path to that folder. I can say dot, dot, slash, hello three. And then, and then I can do a dot, which will mean copy it here in this directory. So if I run this, You'll, and then I hit LS, you'll see now I have hello three. Also, what you can do is I can do CP dot dot slash hello three, oops, hello three. And I can say dot slash, which means this current directory. And I can say hello four dot txt. And if I hit LS again, you'll see I have hello, hello two, hello three, hello four. So this is basically how you can use the CP command in the terminal. And I know I showed you some other commands, but essentially to copy a folder or copy a file from either inside from copy a file from its current directory directory into its new directory. I showed you that if you do that and use the same name that you'll get in there, or it'll just tell you, hey, like it's identical. There's no need to copy it because it's basically like overriding itself. And it's just like, there's no need to do this because the file is already there. Um, or or what you do is you do just, you have to rename it, which I showed you, you can provide it the name. Or if you wanna move it from a directory, from the current directory to a new directory, you just do something, um, let's do this, reset. So if you wanna do it from the current directory to a new directory, you can do that. And also you can either provide the same name, just the directory path, or you can give it uh, the path with the name that you want it to be rather than the old name. As well as I've showed you basically how to see, uh, CP a command from a different folder, whether this is just this being the path. Now we just used a relative path to where we are. You could give this the absolute path to a file and then say, hey, copy it right here, which will mean it'll just use that same name and copy it into the current folder. Or if you um, don't do just a dot and you do a dot slash, that would be the same as just putting the dot. Or you can do the dot slash and give it the name that you want to be, what you, what you want it to be in this current folder. And as a result of doing all that copying, um, what I can show you is I basically have in this folder, I have three new files that we've created and then the um, the folder just above this, we also have two additional files that we've created. So that's how you use the CP command. Uh, if you found any of this confusing or, or you have any questions about anything else you can do, please leave them. Please leave a comment below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it or make another video or an additional video on how you can do this because you can do loads of things with CP. Um, it's very powerful and it'll help you become, I think it'll help you on your programming journey, especially when I show you um, in later videos how you can essentially combine this with Python commands or additional, additional language commands to perform this same type of um, functionality within a programming language. So until next time, keep on programming. Bye.